It's 4 p.m. on a Thursday, and Sewa Nagar Market in the Indian capital, New Delhi, is buzzing with activity. For traders in the seven-day-a-week street market, the hours between now and 9 p.m. will be the busiest of their day. By the end of this evening, Madan Lal would have sold more than six kilos of dried fruit. Santosh's bangles and cosmetics stall will have been thronged with female customers. And Baba Raju will have shorn and shaved about 50 clients. The market's high standards of cleanliness and its fresh and competitively priced produce have made it a magnet for shoppers from all over the area. But not long ago, things were very different. Just five years ago, evictions like this were commonplace and the traders lived in daily fear of being beaten, harassed and victimized. It's a situation that continues today in markets all over India. The root cause is the country's archaic trading laws, which mean that 99% of its 10 million street vendors are officially illegal. They're at the mercy of corrupt officials, police and local mobsters who demand bribes and protection money to allow them to trade. Even after yielding to this extortion, their produce and stores are regularly destroyed or impounded. Change finally came to Sewa Nagar. An illegally licensed market was negotiated when the traders gained the recognition of government officials. The remarkable transformation illustrates how poor and marginalized people can earn an honest living through their own hard work. The Commission on Legal Empowerment of the Poor is a new global initiative that aims to help people who live and work without legal rights. The market was an inspiring example for Executive Director Naresh Singh when he visited in early 2007. In India, it's estimated that fewer than 7% of workers have legal protection for their assets or basic labor rights. And this situation is replicated throughout the developing world. The grassroots campaign to transform Sevanagar market was led by Madhu Kishwar of Manushi, a Delhi-based action group. This pilot project is part of a much larger campaign of Manushi, um, a larger endeavor, which seeks to free the livelihoods of the self employed poor in India from needless bureaucratic controls and extortionist mafias and recognizes their enterprise as playing a vital role in the overall economy of the country and therefore allow them the freedom to earn their living without being harassed, without bribes, without extortion, without beatings, without human rights abuses. This transition from exclusion to active participation in a country's economy is at the heart of legal empowerment's work. Progress is often achieved through advocacy among both government bodies and grassroots groups. A key element in the Seva Nagar traders' campaign has been winning the backing of the local authority and member of parliament. Everyone was very happy with the changes which Manushi brought in here. Changes like the hawkers were happy, the residents were happy, the pedestrians were happy, and uh, except for few uh, vested interest group, everyone was happy. So as a member of parliament, I was the happiest amongst all of them. Crucially, the vendors have acquired secure tenure through payment of a monthly rent to the municipal corporation, the equivalent of less than $10, which is collected by Manushi. कि हम एक पैसा दे रहे हैं जो सही जगह दे रहा हूं जो सरकार को जा रहा है सीधा उसके बाद वो विकास के भी काम में आता है और रिश्वतखोरी से भी बचना पड़ रहा है सबसे अच्छा कि मैं कम से कम कमा रहा हूं तो मेरा पैसा जा रहा है दिस मॉडल मार्केट हैज प्रूव्ड टू बी अ विन-विन सिचुएशन फॉर द लोकल अथॉरिटीज ट्रेडर्स एंड शॉपर्स टू its success demonstrates a basic truth. When people are given secure rights to land and to do business without fear of eviction or abuse, they invest and plan for the future. And when public officials recognize the benefits of empowering the poor, everyone wins.
the Commission on Legal Empowerment of the Poor is working with high-level policymakers to champion new efforts to legally empower groups like the traders of Seva Nagar. If you or your organization seek to have a voice on these issues, the Commission would like to hear from you.